Hello friends, today we will see 8051 serial port programming, SCON register that is serial control register. Before I start, I request you to subscribe to my channel if you, are, if you haven't done it yet by clicking subscribe button and click on bell icon to get instant notification about the new videos. SBUF register is a serial buffer register. It is 8 bit register in SFR. Address of SBUF register is 99H. It is used to store data to be transmitted using TXT pin and stores data read through RXD pin. We are all aware that in serial port programming, data to be transmitted is transmitted through TXD pin. But that TXD pin data should means the data to be transmitted through TXD pin should be trans should be saved or should be stored somewhere in the register. So the for this purpose S buff register is used. Similarly, when you are receiving data through RXD pin, at that time also the received data should be stored at the register and for this s buff register will be used this is scon register it is again 8 bit register available in sfr first two bits are sm0 and sm1 that is mode control bit as there are two bits so there will be four modes of serial communication we'll see this in detail shortly next is sm2 SM2 is used for multiprocessor communication. Next bit is REN. REN bit is used to enable or disable the reception of data. Next bit is TB8. TB8 is a transmitted bit number 8. So in case if 9 bit data is to be sent then lower 8 bits 0 to 7 will be stored in S buff and the last bit 8th bit will be 8 bit number 8 that is 9th bit will be stored in TB8. Similarly, if the data to be received is 9 bit data, then lower 8 bits will be stored in S buff and the last bit will be stored in RB8. These two are used very rarely. Then we have TI that is transmit interrupt flag. When all 8 bits in the S buff register are transmitted, then this flag will be set to 1 and which will indicate that 8051 is now ready to transmit the next bit, next byte. And last is the RI flag where RI flag is receive interrupt flag. Receive interrupt flag is used to indicate that the data 8 bit data is received completely in S buff register and the data has to be read from the S buff by the particular application so that it will not be get overwritten. So now we will see this bits one by one in detail. First two bits are operating modes. First if SM0 and SM1 both are 00, it is mode 0 and it is called as shift register mode. Baud rate is F by 12 that is crystal oscillator frequency divided by 12. We all know that crystal oscillator frequency is 11.0592 megahertz. In shift register mode, it is the basic mode. All 8 bits from the S buff are copied and they are transmitted bit by bit through TXD pin. Similarly, in receive mode, RXD pin will receive the bit by bit communication and it will be stored in S buff. No separate start bit or stop bit will be used for the communication. So this is the basic mode. Next is mode number 1. Mode number 1 is 8-bit UART mode. So UART is a universal asynchronous receiver transmitter circuit. 8-bit UART mode uses two extra bits for communication, start bit and stop bit. 
data is 8 bit data so s buff is sufficient to hold that data for both transmit uh, transmitting and receiving along with that 8 bit data two extra bits one to indicate start of the bit start of the byte and one to indicate the end of the byte so total there will be 10 bit data to be transmitted at a single cycle means in a single uh, case okay here baud rate is variable baud rate is not fixed next is again 9 bit uart here 9 bit means 9 bit data plus 1 start bit and 1 stop bit now in this case this tb8 will be used in case of transmission and rb8 will be used in case of receiving operation so 8 bit data is from s buff and 9th bit is extra bit is tb8 and rb8 in case of transmission and receiving respectively so it is 9 bit uart 9 bit data plus 1 stop bit and 1 start bit like this 11 bits will be transferred baud rate is uh, f by 32 or f by 64 next is mode number 4 that is 9 bit uart same as that of previous only the baud rate is variable again 9 bit data 1 start bit and 1 stop bit and tb8 and rb8 will be used for to storing for storing the 9th bit next is sm2 bit sm2 bit will be used for the multiprocessor communication next is ren ren is to enable or disable reception of the data so 8051 microcontroller can enable or disable the reception pin if ren bit is 0 then reception is disabled and if ren bit pin is 1 then reception is enabled we can use software instructions to enable that is to set or reset the ren pin next bit is transmitted bit number 8 now we know that it is used in serial mode 2 or 3 where the it is 9 bit uart means data is 9 bit so the 9th bit to be transmitted will be stored in tb8 because the capacity of s buff is only 8 bit so last bit extra bit to be transmitted will be stored in tb8 next is rb8 bit like tb8 again it will be used in serial mode 2 and 3 if the data to be transmitted uh, sorry data to be received is 9 bit means in case of serial mode 2 and 3 it will be 9 bit uart so data to be transmitted or received will be 9 bit and if it is 9 bit then ninth bit last bit to be received or will be re received in rb8 in case of mode uh, 0 and 1 this tb8 and rb8 both will be 0 they will not be used they will be used only in case of 9 bit uart mode that is serial mode 2 and 3 next bit is ti bit that is transmit interrupt flag if ti bit is 1 it indicates that 8051 is ready to transfer the another byte so to transfer the byte 8051 first copy the content to be transmitted in s buff register then txd pin will transfer data bit by bit from s buff register when all bits from s buff register are transferred then ti flag will be set to 1 this indicates that the s buff data is transferred 8 bit data is transferred completely and now 8051 is ready to transfer another byte last is receive interrupt flag so here in receive interrupt when rxd pin receives 8 bit data that data will be stored in s buff and when that 8 bits are received completely then ri flag is set to 1 to indicate that the data is ready to be picked up and it should be picked up by the 
application before it is overwritten so this is all about the escon register thank you very much for watching my video if you like my video please press like button given below the video if you have any queries you can ask me through comment section thank you very much